Hi everybody, so now we're going to get into the nitty gritty of how you get dates uh, or values from a prior period that somehow corresponds to the current period. So the classic case is, what if you wanted one column to be sales this year and you wanted another column to be sales for the same day last year? So today's a good day to talk about this. It's Black Friday here in the United States, which means a lot of people are shopping, a lot of fun stuff is happening. So people are going to be very interested in how they're doing year over year. And so again, I'm just using this random data that I generated earlier. I changed the dates to be from 115 to the end of 2016. Um, as of today, this date does not exist when you're watching this. Perhaps it will, but you can do whatever you want with the generate series function. Um, now, the goal is to say, you know, today is um, November 25th, 2016, and that's called Black Friday, where you buy TVs for half price. Um, really, the, the comparable date, though, is uh, 11 27 15. So, how do we, what, you know, say we have sales now for today, uh, 11 25. What were, what were sales last year? Imagine this is real data, not just a random data set. And there's another window function that we can call on um, called lag. And lag lets you get the value of one column that you have uh, for some number of rows in the past. Uh, at least that's how I've typically used it. So let's just wrap this up in a with um, uh, sales data. And we'll uh, keep going down here. And I'll say uh, select uh, SD star sales data SD and the other thing we're gonna to want to pull in here is well let's just make sure it works okay good so now we're gonna to wanna to, we're gonna have we're gonna lag it so it's lag um, it's the metric you want to lag so it's SD sales this year and that's what we'll put in there and we're gonna go back 364 places in the partition so that's how far we're going to be going back. And um, I don't think it, there's no real partition. Um, let's, sometimes these window functions work if you just throw empty over, over the entire window. This would be the window. Let's see if it worked here. We should start to see, oh, there we go. So now once we go 300, once we have 364 rows, we start to see data. Now let's make sure that let's take a look at Black Friday last year, which was 1127. Uh, great, here we go. So 1127. Uh, that was eighty-four thousand dollars. So we have. Um, well, actually, every time I, I no yeah. So last year, which was 1127, we have. Uh, and you're going to have different numbers too, right? Because this is a random series. Just pay attention to what you have on your computer. The effect will still be the same though. So we got like 84K. Not too bad. Pretty good day. Now, what do we have this year on 1125? If we go all the way to the bottom here, we've got, um, ooh, 3,200 bucks. The site went down. But lo and behold, we have the correct value for last year. So that actually worked. Um, if you wanted to actually see what the the date was you could do something like uh, uh, minus um, interval not now interval three six four days and that will give us uh, that'll give us the sorry we're gonna ask for the SD date <laughs> minus interval, right? Um, so let's go back to our Black Friday case here, and we can see that we're at eleven twenty-five, 
and that is our comparable date. And the new random number generation turns out that uh, we did well this year in this random scenario, and last year we didn't do so well. So the, the tables have turned, so to speak, and uh, that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, th this is kind of an interesting function. We're going to use it more later um, in computing some, some different uh, time differences. If you wanted to start looking at the time differences between um, between orders by customers, like what is the average delay between an order, um, then we can start using it by taking the uh, <clears throat> uh, the lagged result and you know subtracting it out from a date. You'll see. I just wanted to introduce the idea that sometimes you need to start with some basis and work your way back up into the data some number of rows to, to get the value that was at the, the place in the window itself, the whole uh, kind of window. So hopefully that made sense. We'll use more lag coming up. Just wanted to get it out there. Uh, I used the random data in this case just because the DVD rental data uh, was a little bit sparse. It didn't have good year-over-year -year dates. So that hopefully that made sense. Thank you.